that I shall never see a queen as wonderful as me. Hey! This is a poetry reading, not an ice cream social. Uh, we're not talking about ice cream. We're talking about Hare's radio show. Oh, right. It was really great. Uh, Did you happen to listen in? No. Now, all of you be quiet and pay attention. Now, where was I? My gorgeous face. My sense of style. I'm the best you've seen in quite a while. Queens! <laughs> The queen is reading her poems, and you should not interrupt. Thank you, Rabbit. I mean, the poor woman had enough trouble putting down a few simple verses. Uh, 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 Rabbit! If you insist on talking, you know she's bound to lose her place. Rabbit! Hmm? Oh, don't worry, Your Majesty. I'll get them to be quiet. No, no, there was one question. We all know the question that he answered. That we, none of us knew the answer. I know. I don't know. <laughs> A little consideration, please, for the Queen of Wonderland. You should all pay strict attention to the matter now at hand. A little consideration, please, for the program has begun. Now is not the time to chat. Chatting time is done. There's a time and place for everything, and now it's time to listen. Why, if you keep this talking up, who knows what you'll be missing. So, a little consideration, please. Don't want to be rude. Let's be a proper audience while she's in a poetic mood. There's a time and place for everything, and now it's time to listen. But if you keep this talking up, who knows what you'll be missing? Show a little consideration, please, for the Queen of Wonderland. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbit. Oh, not at all, Your Majesty. <laughs> <coughs> There once was a really red queen who never, no, never was me. Hey, never. everybody. Now what? I just saw the March Hare coming from the radio station. He's agreed to answer a few questions and sign autographs. Oh, sign autographs. Oh, so questions. <laughs> you were worried he was acting conceited. Oh, I have some questions for him. I couldn't get through to him on the radio because so many other people were calling in. It's amazing how popular he's becoming. Oh, 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 how gross. I can't believe they would rather hear that silly hair answer questions than to listen to my beautiful poems. Well, Your Majesty, there's no accounting for taste. Yes. Is it exciting to be on the radio? Were you nervous? What happens if you get the hiccups while you're on the air? Can you get me one of these cool jackets? <laughs> hey, Your Majesty, did you catch the show? No, but I heard about it. It seems you've gotten quite a reputation for your intelligence. Well, I owe it all to you. you know, ever since you gave me that medal, I've realized that I'm not only a smarty pants, I'm a real know-it-all. How true that is. In fact, Your Majesty, go ahead and ask me anything. Ask me why the sky is blue. Ask me why the grass is green. Ask me why carrots are orange. Oh, please, even I know that one. Well, okay. Why is the sky blue and why is the grass green? Uh, because, <laughs> you know, I'm glad you asked. Those are good questions. And if you give me a moment, I might be able to guess. Oh, guess? You mean you don't know? Well, I'm sure I read the answer somewhere. <laughs> How about a hint? That seems fair. Yeah. I'm surprised at you. A true smarty pants doesn't need hints. Well, just give me another chance. Does anyone else have any questions? I had a question, but I guess I can probably figure it out myself. Me too. Sorry, Hare. <laughs> if only you still had your books. No one wants to know anything? Don't feel bad you didn't know the answers. The Queen's questions were tough. Thanks, Alice. But there's no sense trying to make me feel better. I'm sorry, everyone. Here, Your Majesty. I guess I better return this Smarty Pants medal. Looks like I don't deserve it. How could I have been so conceited? Don't feel bad. You just got carried away. Besides, in my book, you're still the smartest hair around. Really? Sure. See? Under S for smart, at your picture. Well, it sure wasn't smart of me to think I didn't need all my books. That's the most intelligent thing you've said yet. 
In fact, hair, I've got a question for you. Sorry, I am out of the question answering business. I don't care. What I want to ask you is, do you want your smarty pants metal back? No way, I don't deserve it. I'm just a know nothing. Oh, you're not a know nothing. You're just not a know everything. Listen to the rabbit. He knows these things. Okay. Well, if I'm not a know nothing, then at least I'm a know very little. No way are you a know very little. You're at least a know a lot. Yes, and a know a lot still deserves a smarty pants medal. Right. After all, you're a hare with a good head on his shoulders. You know it. Now. Sorry. Of humility. You know it, uh huh, you know it. Everyone, listen to my decree. Let's have a smarty pants jubilee. Uh, you know it's all for you, Mr. Hare. Mr. Hare. You've helped everyone in Wonderland. You know it, uh huh, you know it. Thinking of you, our hearts expand. You know it, uh huh, you know it. Receive this honor upon my command. You deserve our and a great wow. big hand. You know it's all for you, Mr. Hare. Mr. Hare. Nobody here can know it all. Not at all, no, not at all. But Hare, you are right on the ball. On the ball, yes, on the ball. Let's celebrate, sing one and all. With this award, you can really stand tall. You know it's all for you, Mr. Hare. Mr. Hare. You know, Dinah, I've been thinking about this test. I didn't get a good grade because I thought I knew it all. And no one knows everything. I may be smart, but I still need to study. Of course, I don't have to tell that to an intelligent cat like you. <laughs> 